Hi guys, how are we all doing? In this video, I'm going to give you a 200 kilometer update on the Saucony Kinvara 14s, how I've been using the shoe, how I have found running 200 kilometers in the shoe. But before I get to that update, I just wanna to touch on the Gold Coast Marathon and those course changes which have just been released. You might remember here on the channel a few months ago that I made mention of the fact that the organizers had increased the field capacity for the Gold Coast Marathon in 2024 by another 3,300 runners. And that's because late last year, when entries opened, they just sold out super, super quick. So kudos to the organizers for increasing the capacity of the marathon field. But that meant that there was going to be some course changes because there are some very narrow sections on the Gold Coast Marathon or on the old Gold Coast Marathon course, especially through Hedges Avenue there around the Broad Beach area. And you can just imagine that 10,000 plus runners coming against each other through that section was always going to create a few safety issues. So the organizers had to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new course, especially for that southern section. The northern section of the Gold Coast Marathon remains the same, but that southern section has had a few little tweaks just to accommodate those extra runners. Now the start line has been moved 600 meters south from its original position. This is to accommodate all those extra runners in the start zone. The first couple of kilometers remain the same before you have the first change to the course where you turn left on the sea world drive and you do a short out and back section there before coming back and rejoining the old course for the run along the stunning gold coast beaches and then as you get down towards where that q1 building is that big tall building there on the gold coast this is where the course changes again you actually come back out onto the gold coast highway now this is a new section of the course you follow that gold coast highway for a little while before coming back onto the coastal route of the old marathon course heading still south towards Miami. There's another section where you come back out onto the Gold Coast Highway and run further south before coming back again onto the old course and close to the beach. And the southern turnaround now is at Miami. And that's probably going to disappoint a few runners because the Burley Heads southern turnaround point was always so popular, it was so loud, there's music pumping, but because of all the development with that G-Link tram line that's going on down there, uh, organizers have had to move that turnaround point uh, a little bit further north. And from that turnaround point, you really are following the course as per previous years, back past the start line, uh, over that little hill there around 30, 31 kilometers. And then you do that Northern section and return to the finish area there at, I think it's the Gold Coast uh, Swimming Complex, might be called something else, but same finish line as in previous years. I'm obviously not running the marathon this year, but I think organizers have come up with a pretty good compromise on the course. It does take out the little hill there at Burley Heads. For me, probably the only section is that Gold Coast Highway section where it might just get a little bit uh, maybe boring, I guess you could say, but uh, there will still be lots and lots of runners around. I think a lot of people will be quite happy with uh, the changes to the 2024 Gold Coast Marathon course. All right, guys, let's get back to the topic of this video and my update on the Saucony Kinvara 14s. Uh, look, I know this is last year's model, 2023, and I do know that the 15s are coming out really soon. I'm not sure on the release date. I don't think it's actually been announced yet. And in between, we've had the Kinvara Pro come out as well. But I just thought there was some value in uh, giving you an update on how I've been using the shoe, my thoughts on the shoe, because look, not everyone can afford hundreds of dollars to buy the new shoes, the latest releases. And at the moment, you can pick these Kinvara 14s up for around about a hundred bucks here in Australia. If you're prepared to put in a little bit of time and search some of the running outlets here. And if you're not too sort of fussed about the colorway as well. If you think there is some value in me doing these type of update reviews on these older model shoes, guys, let me know. I know I'm probably a bit of a tight ass. I'm always trying to pinch pennies where I can and pick up shoes that are on special, older models. I seem to buy quite a deal of. Now I jumped into the Kinvara range about two years ago. The 13s were my introduction to this model. If you have been following my channel for some time, you know that the Kinvara 13s were my favorite shoe of 2022. I pretty much ran those shoes into the ground, ended up over 800 kilometers in them. Nothing has really changed my mind about how I feel about the Kinvara model because these 14s are just as good, if not slightly better. 
In fact, I've really raced to 200 kilometres in this shoe. It's a comfortable fit. It's a cushioned ride with that power run midsole compound. My apologies because the shoe's a little bit messy. A couple of days ago, I ran when it was pissing down with rain and had no issues with slipping on that outsole. And as you can see, the upper, that mesh upper, is not showing any signs of wear and tear. This is a shoe that has quickly become my favorite shoe to run in. I've used this shoe for easy runs, steady runs, up to about 18 kilometers. Now, I'm not sure whether I would go much further than sort of a half marathon, maybe 24, 25K in this shoe. Uh, I think there's better shoes for long runs, but for a daily trainer, up to 20 odd kilometers, I have found this to be fantastic. Now the Power Run midsole is responsive enough to do speed work in. I've used this for some speed sessions. I've done tempo runs in the shoe. I've also used it for park run. And it still is comfortable enough to be used as a cruisy, easy run. I wouldn't hesitate to buy another pair of the 14s, uh, 11 and a half US in my size. It fits true to size. There are two little issues that I have found with the shoe, but it doesn't detract in any way from the performance of the shoe. Firstly, you're probably not going to be able to see it here on the camera, but just in here where my big toe is on my right foot, uh, it's got this like little, it's got a, like a liner underneath this engineered mesh and my toe is just starting to come through that liner. I'll hold it up there. Now I haven't had this issue in a shoe for probably eight or 10 years. Uh, and the only other issue that I'm having with the shoe is that the gusseted tongue on my left foot is slipping down to the outside of my foot. Now, it doesn't matter how I lace the shoe, uh, how tight it is, how loose it is, etc. Uh, every run, that tongue ends up down the outside of my foot but it's not uncomfortable and I don't even notice it's done until I rip the shoe off. Now the shoe has been fairly durable you can see that there is a little bit of wear and tear here on that midfoot to forefoot uh, that's how I land when I'm running um, but back there at the heel area no issues at all still plenty left on that midsole. Now I did mention that the Kinvara 15s were coming out. There has been some uh, leaked pictures on Reddit. Not sure on the release date. No doubt in Australia we'll be a little bit behind the rest of the world. I would not hesitate to jump back in and buy another pair of the 14s. I just find it to be a really solid daily trainer that you can use for those easy runs, steady runs, right up to speed. And you can also put a little bit of distance into them as well. All right, guys, um, that was just a real quick update on the Saucony Kinvara 14s and a little bit about the Gold Coast Marathon course changes for 2024. Uh, let me know if you are running the Gold Coast Marathon uh, down in the comments below. I'm running the half marathon. I'll be jumping into that half marathon block in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, looking forward to getting into that. Uh, let me know if you've been running in the Saucony Kinvara 14s as well and how you have found the shoe. And make sure that you do let me know if these reviews and updates on these older model shoes are worthwhile. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, wherever you are, run well, run safe, be kind to each other, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Very. Hey,